Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill. By now, you've probably seen the trailer for Legendary's latest film, Seventh Son. And if you haven't, well, go watch it. It's awesome. With the release of Seventh Son in cinemas, we look back to age-old warnings and return to the darker side of the supernatural. It's pretty spooky stuff, and unless you're the Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, you might not have the powers necessary to defend yourself from evil or to take on a sorceress all on your lonesome, but don't worry, because Geek and Sundry has got your back. This quick video guide will teach you how to recognize and defend yourself against witches, no matter what direction they come from, north, south, east, or west. Alright, so there's a creepy old woman who lives on your street and stares you down with her glass eye whenever you walk past to go to the bus stop. But how can you discern whether she's really a witch or just a genuinely terrifying geriatric? First, see if you can spot any weird marks on your suspect's skin or in her eyes. Or in this case, I guess I, singular. Would be more appropriate. Also keep an eye out for any strange animals or odd pet behavior as witches have a long and well-documented relationship with beasts. In Greek mythology the island witch Circe kept a menagerie of all sorts of wild creatures which were actually men that she had transformed with her magic. But it's not just the witch's victims who might be walking around in the guise of an animal. Irish folklore tells us that a witch would frequently take on the form of a hare or a cat in order to hide her true identity. Or perhaps your scary old neighbor's army of cats aren't transmogrified humans at all. They could be instead a witch's animal familiars, spirits who would take on the form of worldly creatures in order to help the witch with her spell casting. If you're still not sure, you could try out some old witch trial tricks. Put her in a stressful situation and see if she cries, as a witch cannot form tears. A cake made from ash and the urine of one of the witch's victims can be fed to a dog in order to sometimes induce screaming from the culprit. Or if you're very impatient, you could tie her right thumb to her left big toe and throw her into a river. If she floats, then it is a surefire sign, according to the Middle Ages, that Mrs. Doherty was saved by black magic. Just think of it this way, if she weighs the same as a duck, then she's a witch. So remember these tips to stay safe from witches, and remember to check out Seventh Son in cinemas. All the links can be found in the description for more information, like session times for movies, all of that good stuff. Carry a four-leaf clover and good luck out there. And while you're at it, probably best to find a new route to the bus stop that doesn't take you past Mrs. Doherty and her glass eye. Just in case.